Hey guys, Nick Drosos. I'm here with Ian from Lashley Training Center, and we're going to be doing a hips and grips training. I have a big uh, band, strength band tied off on a squat rack here. I'm just going to scoot my butt back and kind of sit away from it. So I'm going to grab it like I'm finishing a, a arm bar here. So it's going to be great for the uh, the posterior chain, maybe a little bit of the, the core as well. But I'm going to act just like I'm ripping an arm bar away from somebody. So I'm here, I'm going to lay all the way back, and then I come up. And you can do two different ways. I can go slow and controlled, right? Or I can act like I'm actually ripping an arm bar, ripping an arm away from somebody and coming up. But it's important to obviously control the eccentric movement um, coming up as well. And then um, you can also go sides as well on it. So I can come here, I can go sideways on it, come back up, sideways. Nice. Go back up. Or I That's straight a really back nice. Here. Can I try it? Let me see. Absolutely. Just like if you're uh, in mount on somebody and you're going to pull an arm bar away. And you can even go sideways on it to kind of diagonal. You have to kind of try to stabilize yourself as you go diagonal on it because it makes well, it kind I, of... I like this because we're always, you know, we're doing crunches, we're moving forward. Right. But now we're actually, like I said, working on that posterior train. How many would you do? Two ways, two ways you can do it. You can do like sets of 10 to 15 or if I'm getting ready for like fight or conditioning or whatever, I like to do, I usually do a lot of time stuff. So you want 30 to 45 seconds, as many reps you can get with whatever cadence you this want. This is a great exercise and what I love about it. You just need a band, right? So you could tie it up anywhere. Easy peasy. This part of the hips and grips uh, series, we're working on a lot of the hips here. Amazing exercise. So we have a belt squat machine here. So Nick is already having him strapped up here. But he's going to go ahead and stand up. Okay. What this is going to do is it's going to put all the tension is going to be essentially on your hips here. And so the, the exercise I like to do is just a simple march. So two ways you can do it, you can, you can alternate the hands as well, or you can keep your hands up like you're in your fight stance, but it's high knees. So you're going, you're marching. So it's back and forth, you're marching, getting the knees up. And you do this, I like, once again, I like to do this for time. So you can set a timer for 30 to 60 seconds, and you're just marching. And if you want to, you can throw in your shadow boxing as well too, while you're marching. But I mean, you do this for 30, 60 seconds, depending on how much weight, it's gonna light your hips up. And you wanna always keep good posture as well when you do these. Now something too, if you actually want to intensify this to hit your hips a little bit different, we can do a, a hip hinge motion. So it's not a squat, but I'm just going to stick my hips and my butt backwards. I'm going to push the hips forward. So I'm here doing like a little quarter squat, pushing the hips and back. It's kind of more like a good morning motion is what we want. So in your 60 second round, you could throw in a good 10 or 20 of these. Just pop oh, you off, yeah, boom, you boom, and then you just go right back to your, your marching. Are you feeling that in your hips? Oh, yeah, I <laughs> feel that. Damn. Is there an alternative if you don't have a machine like this at home? Absolutely. So what you can do is you can take a heavy dumbbell or something that's anchored to the floor and then take a strength band oh, yeah. and then you can tie the strength band off on that and then put it, put it around the waist or like if you have a squat belt or something, you can wrap around your waist and tie off on the band. And you can do the same same kind of motion with that, that downward downward tension there with the strength band. Awesome. Yeah, so we have three exercises here. The first one is a pinch, called a pinch grip. So you can use this just with uh, big rubber plates. I prefer big rubber plates because it makes you have like a thicker grip on it. Because like the single metal plates, it's, it's not as not as intensified. He, what he's gonna do here is, he's not allowed to actually wrap the fingers around. This. Yeah, not, not like that. He's gonna actually like, you're gonna make your hands go like this, and we're gonna pin, pinch it. So what he'd do is he'd pick this up, Two ways you can do it, you can either stand here and just hold it, or if you could do like a farmer's carry with it as well. So you can say, hey, here's 25 yards, I'm gonna walk down and back, and I gotta I You gotta feel the difference it. that I can't put my fingers on it, because I just wanna put the fingers Correct, on. it really it really lights up the forearms, oh, and makes, yeah. it makes you engage the grip there yeah, a little bit yeah. differently than, like what he said, it's different than wrapping the fingers around something. Yeah, so, so sorry, go ahead. That's something I haven't trained, right? I'm, I'm used to working my fingers because we're trapping or eye gouging, so I work all of it. Right, so the next one is, it's called a wrench grip. Like, so if you're if you're turning something, yeah. and so uh, a lot of people do this actually with a rice bucket. So I don't have a rice bucket here, that'd be kind of cool, but you can do this with a kettlebell just on the ground. So what we're gonna do is, is we grab the kettlebell, and you wanna, you wanna rather ha heavy your kettlebell depending on you know how strong your grip is, but I'm gonna turn it like I'm turning a, a wrench around or a screwdriver or something on the ground. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm just gonna turn. I wanna try to do big circles, just turn it as far as I can. And you could do this 10 times or 10 rotations, and I flip and go the opposite direction nice. as well. Now I'm not, I'm not lifting the kettlebell up off the ground, I'm actually trying to push it into the ground, and I'm trying to turn it, and you wanna rotate it as far as you can. You can Try to imagine like you try to get a, a 360 rotation out, which it's going to be hard to make it go all the way around. You know, do 10 or do 30 seconds, one direction. You flip 
and then go the other way, and obviously the heavier like kettlebell. The, I like the fact that you're doing it both sides. It, light, it lights it lights your forearms. Yeah, up. you feel it. You feel it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more the twisting motion. I'm Correct. used to working my grip this way or this way, but rarely twisting it here or here. Right. The next one we have, is, which Nick said he's done this one, this is a really, really good one too. Um, flip the kettlebell upside down, and I'm going to palm the top of the kettlebell. And you can do this with a dumbbell as well too, or anything you can kind of palm. And it'd be the same thing as with a pinch grip drill, but you just hold this, and you could do farmer's carries with it, or you're just holding it for a, a time. All the muscles working, all these little muscles too, yeah. the fingers. And, th and this one too, you start kind of wrapping the finger, so it yeah. gets you that work as like when you, you're like you're trying to grip it or pinch into it as hard as you can. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, these are great exercises. How much? How many sets? Would you do them back to back, or no? You would do each. It depends on what your objective is. I would say you could you could knock all three of them out. And I like to do time stuff because okay. um, like right, just so like you talk about street fighting or, yeah. or well, not street fighting, but self defense. Right, yeah. usually you know you're going to have an altercation that's going to last for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So I like I like time training. So yeah. thirty seconds, Explo three sets of thirty explosive. seconds. Yes, trying to squeeze it as hard as you can. So what we're going to do is I put I want to load up. I have a hyper extension or uh, sorry, reverse hyper machine here. Uh, so I'm going to load up the weight pretty good. I tie a band off on the, the mechanism, the, the sheath there thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back in my fight stance. I'm going to give it two or three big pulls here. So I'm working my grip straight here on my back. And then i got to hold it so it's going to bounce on me for two or three bounces. Then I get I get movement again. I can scoot back and intensify it. And here, and I can hold it. Ooh, two, That's a good one. Three. So you Obviously, the more weight you load on it, yeah, it starts, sure. it starts yanking you. So you, you don't want to move when you pull it. And the farther you walk back, the harder it is when you yes, give it give it some big yanks there, get it moving. Then you got to try to hold it as it bounces. Good. You see, Nick's hat has this nice, perfect fight stance there. That's what you want to do. You want to get your stance and hold it. You're really working your grips. It's actually really great for the core too, so like if you yeah. wanted to sort of fa face that direction while you do it. What do you mean? So, well, one thing you can actually do, uh, almost like a payoff press, so I can pull it this way here, and here, here, and I hold it right here. And same thing now, I'm using my core, yeah. right side, I don't, yeah, it's pulling me sideways. Let me see this. So you can actually face different directions while you. If while you, you don't do have it. the weight, you can still just do it with the band, right? Correct, yeah, you could. You could you would tie a band off like on the rack or yeah. something. This is actually better though because yeah. if you notice, you know how it varies the intensity because it's yeah. bouncing. Yeah. That's where a band on the wall is just going to be constant. Yeah. This actually makes you unstabilized because it bounces and so I much. The, the concept is so hard. One, two, three. Yeah, they hold they hold it for two or three bounces, then you keep it bouncing on you. Yeah. It's like that. that that's going to work your core really nice right there. Three. And the best you can, you see, you're kind of leaning into it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you want to try to actually not lean no, as much as you can, so you kind of stay in a good, a good, nice position. And obviously, it's, it's going to be harder, right? Because you, you don't want to pull you over. You feel it. You feel yeah. it on your grip. You feel it on your core. You feel it everywhere. This is a great exercise. I'm actually going to. I mean, I don't have this machine, so I'm probably just going to use the band to try to play with it. Yeah, absolutely. But I like the concept where you're just you're pulling and then you're holding. Yeah. Like I don't like what I'm seeing. In. Yeah, so this is a, this is going to be a fun one. So we actually have they're essentially like cut off like gi material. So you know what a gi is? It's like for jujitsu or karate. It's kind of the material, the uniform we wear. And what this does is it's going to throw your grips way off because you're going to have to squeeze harder, right. and it does right. It's not solid like a bar is, so it's going to make you work way harder. So it's a couple ways, different ways you can do it. Right, just grabbing a hold of the material on the outsides or the insides, wherever you want to hold it. Um, too hard for you to do, you can just do a free hang like so to do it. But then, right, the whole thing is to do like a pull up or a chin up with it. So you grab hold of the material, and it's just like I'm doing my chin ups or my pull ups with the with the material there. You gonna try it? It's not, it's not too hard for an old guy like you. Uh, <laughs> 47 ain't old <laughs> me and Dave we're comparing we're comparing injuries my hips by this okay so I mean, this is grip strength for sure yep awesome easy peasy right oh shit <laughs> wow yeah you feel your grip is let me Maybe if I see you're not supposed to do this, right? You, you can do it that way, but the, the, it's harder to not grab all of, all the way around it. Yeah, like this, I find it's a little bit easier. It's still hard, uh, but the other way is definitely hard because 
the finger that like I'm using all my fingers. Right. But I could just hang on it if I wanted Correct. to. Correct. Right? Yeah, you, you can just do a free hang. And that way too, that's gonna strengthen your grip up as well. Yeah. So like this, oh woof. See, I could do it this way. This is the hard thing here with you, literally, this is the way it's supposed to be done. Yes, correct. Yep, because that, that would be like would be like grabbing someone's uniform or materials as well. Oh. Right. Because most time, right, I'm, I'm gonna if I'm grabbing your shirt, right, I'm yeah. not gonna have yeah. a whole handful. I might just have like at least. Can somebody do it this way just to? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, do you want me to show a harder way to do it? Yeah, please. Show me a harder <laughs> way. Let's go in. <laughs> So one way you can actually do it as well too, this is really hard. So I'm actually gonna grab the bottom of the material. I'm gonna roll my forefingers into it like this. Like I'm grabbing, that'd be like if I'm if you had like a long sleeve shirt on. Yeah. I'm grabbing yeah. a long sleeve shirt. I imagine right? you're lifting your entire weight just with your grip. Correct, so I roll it in, I squeeze it with the thumbs here, and I pull it up. And that allows you to do like a chin up kind of motion with that as well too. But that, that makes it pretty hard because you're really using your fingers. There, because I could do chin ups, chin ups, pull ups. I don't have a problem, but now it's like, no, I don't even feel it. It's it's pretty challenging. So you're literally using your fingers to hold on to it. Oh. <laughs> Damn, new respect for mountain climbers. I thought I was pretty strong with my grip. I guess something. How how would somebody train this again? Just to like, yeah, pro- I feel I have a solid grip. I mean, right. I've done it with the towels, like when I have the grip, the chin ups. Just like you said, that's a good start. So wrapping it, like if you don't have like these things, you can wrap right. towels yeah. uh, around the bar and grab them different ways to yeah. try to train that. And just starting off just free hanging, just like you said, just just, uh, okay. just free hanging even with the towel and helping them build up that strength. So if you do it for 10 seconds, start off doing three sets of 10 seconds, then go to 15, 20. And then even just switching to just free hanging off a pull-up bar too yeah. will help a lot. You, you got you to build a build up your strength to support yeah. your, your body weight. We're only as strong as your grip when we're doing knife defense. When you're trapping that knife, you gotta have, it's gotta be like like deadlock when you have it. Cause if you don't have the grip strength, in theory, you might understand it, but if you don't have that strength, you're gonna lose it. Right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode of Hips and Grips. Uh, I'll put all of the information of Ian Lashley Training Center in the comment box. If you have any comments or question, thanks for watching guys.